Hey, welcome back guys. So today on this video, we are talking about WhatsApp and more specifically, I'm going to quickly answer a question. I keep getting a lot on my other video and that is how do you back up your WhatsApp messages on your iPhone? So let's go ahead and talk about this. First off guys, real quick video, not too many steps involved. So be sure to stick around to the end of the video, but why would you want to back up your WhatsApp messages on your iPhone? Well, that's pretty easy. Maybe you run an online business and you use WhatsApp to interact with your customers and you want to keep it as a record for each and every one of your clients, whatever the case is, it's a pretty easy process. It's actually handled here in the WhatsApp, this green and white app here at the bottom center. Also in order for this to work, you do have to have Apple iCloud. So if you have a lot of gigabytes in your messages and photos and videos and things like that, you may need to upgrade your Apple iCloud, but this is assuming you have enough space in your Apple iCloud. So I'm going to go ahead and open up my WhatsApp now. Okay guys, I went ahead and opened up my WhatsApp. This is my community screen. Now in order to back up your messages in WhatsApp, on your iPhone, what you wanna do is click on settings. It's down here on the bottom right. It looks like a little gear icon. Okay, so once you click there, it's going to give you a drop down menu. And in order to back up your WhatsApp messages in your iPhone, you need to look for this line right here called chats. It looks like a, a little talking bubble thing. Okay, so once you do that, you're gonna see another drop down menu. And in order to back up your WhatsApp account with your iPhone, you wanna click on this line right here called chat backup. Okay guys, so this is actually kind of important. So if you're gonna be backing up your WhatsApp account in your iPhone, you need to choose if you're going to include the videos or not because video files are really quite large. So it really depends on how much space you have in your iCloud. So you can see that my most recent backup was about 45 minutes ago and the total size is 6.37 gigabytes. So if you have maybe one gigabyte in your Apple iCloud, you're not going to be able to do that. If you don't have enough space, but you still want to back up your chats, you can go ahead and uncheck this one, include video. So mine is green and that means that it's going to include my videos in my iCloud. So any kind of text mess, well, I guess not text messages, WhatsApp messages that I received with video or I sent in video, those are going to be included in my WhatsApp backup. So that's really up to you. And also if you want to do end to end encrypted, that's going to be up to you as well. I don't really do that, but you can. Uh, if you want to be a little bit more secure with your data. So all you're going to do is click on this blue backup now button, right? It's going to go ahead and start processing. You probably want to do this on Wi-Fi. It's just going to work a little bit faster depending on your Wi-Fi speed. Also, if you close out WhatsApp, from what I've noticed, at least on my phone, it stops backing up. So you kind of have to leave the WhatsApp open for it to continue processing. As far as how long it takes, um, you know, it's taken sometimes up to 10 minutes, depending on how many gigabytes you're going to be uploading and then also your Wi-Fi speed. But if it's just the messages itself, it's usually pretty quick. So there you have it, guys. If you're wondering how to back up your WhatsApp messages and account in your iPhone, that is the easiest way I know how to do it. If you know an easier way, be sure to leave a comment below. Let the rest of us know how you did it. Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, click thumbs up or maybe consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you on the next video. Thanks again for watching.